Hi, I'm David Zitt, Certified Flight Instructor here at Sporty's Academy, here with another edition of Sporty's Ask a CFI. In today's episode, we're going to discuss the iPad's role during flight training. The iPad is a wonderful tool for pilots, providing access to sophisticated flight planning on the ground, training resources for student pilots, and digital charts in the cockpit. Determining when to begin using your iPad is an important decision that you and your CFI should discuss. If you're not sure what time is right, I recommend using your iPad in your ground lessons from the beginning of your training, and then waiting to bring it into the cockpit until after your first solo. Dedicated aviation apps like the Learn to Fly course and Sporty's Pilot Training app, E6B Flight Computer, and Far Aim provide specific functionality that is great for new students to help prepare for lessons and assist with flight planning. I highly encourage my students to download these three apps on day one. Preparing navigational logs during the flight planning process is a major area where aviation apps excel and can save you time. Apps like ForeFlight will prepare a detailed nav log that will include compass headings, ground speed, leg times, fuel burn, etc. It's important to remember the basics though when using this automation. You should still make individual checkpoints every 5 to 15 miles and don't feel like you have to fly in a perfectly straight line. Sometimes you'll find navigation by pilotage easier if you plan to fly directly over major landmarks on the way to the destination. Also, make sure to enter an accurate departure time so that the app uses relevant winds aloft forecast for accurate calculations. Don't fall in the trap of using zero wind calculations. Students often ask if they're required to use a paper sectional and traditional plotter in addition to their digital planning. The legal answer is no, but there is still value in learning the math and calculations required when planning a trip by hand. Plus, you won't have access to your mobile app during the FAA written test, so knowing how to plot a course and calculate time and route will really pay off there. Check with your instructor to determine their individual preference. While all of the aviation apps provide quick access to VFR sectionals and the airport facility directory, there are other resources you'll likely need like Legends, Class B graphics, and flyaway planning charts. You'll typically need to download these separately, so spend some time with your instructor to find their location in your app. When it comes time to check the weather before each flight, the iPad has you covered once again. I recommend starting out using your app's standard weather briefing feature, which delivers all the weather products in a well-organized flow sourced directly from flight service. Over time, you'll likely find yourself transitioning to a hybrid briefing method using a combination of the flight service briefing in the app along with radar, satellite, and airport condition layers displayed on the moving map. Now the fun really starts when you're ready to start using the iPad in the cockpit. You'll be able to quickly access your nav logs in flight and have access to a wealth of digital resources right in your lap. On that note, make sure to secure your device with a kneeboard or a mount to keep it from falling out of reach on those bumpy days. It'll be tempting at first to use the iPad with a GPS to monitor your location on the sectional as you fly, but like with your flight planning, I'd recommend disabling this feature at first. Sure, it's okay to use the iPad to display the sectional, but focus on the basics of navigation by flying your pre-planned compass headings and keeping your eyes out the window looking for landmarks. There'll be plenty of time to use the GPS features later in your training and after the checkride. Longer cross-country flights put additional demands on your digital devices. First, consider bringing along a backup device for additional redundancy. Many pilots install a second copy of their primary aviation app on a mobile phone, which is more than adequate in the unlikely event your primary device becomes unresponsive. I also recommend traveling with an in-cockpit power backup like a cigarette lighter USB adapter or a backup battery capable of recharging all of your digital devices at least once. This is cheap insurance and will protect you if your iPad goes dark. When it comes time to prepare for the checkride, ask your examiner their thoughts on the use of digital devices in the checkride before you arrive that day. The ACS does not limit the use of digital devices during the checkride, but heeding the instructions of your examiner will help make the day go smoothly. Most examiners are happy with any level of integration with digital planning and charting, provided that you understand how the items were calculated how the information should be used safely, and what to do if something malfunctions. By utilizing this approach during your flight training, the iPad and aviation apps will greatly enhance your flight training experience. These tools are invaluable and will help you learn faster and ultimately fly safer. Thanks for joining us for the latest edition of Sporty's Ask a CFI. 
And be sure to check Student Pilot News for everything pilot training related and more tips from the CFIs at Sporties.